We all have a choice about how we respond to workplace conflict. While it's true that instinct may try to dictate our responses, we alone make the choice as to how we'll react. This is an empowering idea. You can choose to ignore or do very little about the conflict or face it head on. But you do have a choice. Many people tend to naturally shy away from conflict. However, realizing they can choose to be proactive, face it directly, and react calmly, they can learn to approach conflict in a more positive manner. The most important aspect for finding the proper response is to identify the root cause of the conflict. That gives you a focus for how to deal with it and, ultimately, resolve it. Sometimes, the source of a conflict can surprise you. For example, let's say that a colleague in a different department uses a different method or format for reporting financial information on a dashboard. This creates stress for you, and regardless of how many times you ask him to use your method and format, he resists and keeps doing it the same way. That's frustrating. Why is he being so stubborn? Does he not know proper procedure? Does he dislike you? Should you talk with him? Complain to his supervisor? Perhaps the best idea in this situation is to simply go talk with him to find out directly what the cause of the conflict is. Suppose you discover that his manager insisted he use a template that is standard in their department. You now know the template was the real source of the conflict, not this guy's personality or behavior. The source of a conflict could be a person, a policy or procedure, a set of expectations, or someone with a different style from yours. The point is to look at business processes as well as people and ask the critical question, how high are the stakes? Ultimately, that's a vital question. Be honest with yourself. Are you willing to give in? Can you let it go without feeling bad about it later? Could there be repercussions for you and the business as time goes on? Consider too the effort involved in resolving the issue. You've got to figure out what the situation is costing you in time and stress and the effort you need to invest to make it right. If it's important, do something about it. First, think about the skills you need to resolve this issue. You might feel that you don't have them or you're not confident enough in your ability to resolve the issue on your own. If so, get help. Consult your manager or HR. Even another trusted coworker with a different perspective could be helpful. If the conflict continues unaddressed, what's the cost to you in time and stress? How might this ongoing issue affect your coworkers or your team and department? It's hard to do your best if you're in conflict with someone, anyone. You can try to get along as best you can, or you can use a resolution process to reach a mutually agreeable solution. It's usually best to try to resolve it. Think too about the benefits of addressing the conflict. There can be real value in confronting and resolving a workplace conflict, not only for you, but also for your working relationships, your department, even the organization. Conflicts will arise. It's virtually a given. But choosing how you react to and address it is up to you.